Yo, what is going on guys, Digirex here, and today I'm coming at you with a brand new video, and in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys that the history of the Harlem Hellfighters, which was a regiment, an American infantry regiment during World War I, and they were from Harlem, New York, a full regiment of African American soldiers, and I'm going to be telling you guys the history and what they have to do with Battlefield. So they are in a level or a war story of Battlefield, one of the first ones, and they do have three weapons in the game which we will cut to later, but the Harlem Hellfighters were an African American infantry unit in World War One who spent more time in combat than any other American unit. They were the 369th Infantry Regiment, and despite their courage, sacrifice, and dedication to their country, they returned home to face racism and segregation from fellow Americans, even though they protected their country. And they, you know, they had difficult stereotypes. There was a stereotype where Af that said like you know African Americans wouldn't do well in battle and originally when they were shipped over to Europe they did labor jobs and they were trained for combat but the African Americans weren't allowed to do combat because there's a stereotype that they wouldn't do well in combat or they would get white men killed stuff like that extremely racist stereotypes so they did labor jobs they cut wood they moved ammo around they shipped over supplies they did all that stuff and yeah which they were trained for combat which is kind of stupid that they didn't get to go to combat right away but they were they finally did get to go to combat when they were traded to the French army because the general didn't want black men fighting for him so he trained them for or he traded them to the French army to reinforce the French army even though he said that all Americans would be led under an American general he traded them to the French army just because they were African Americans and they did eventually demonstrate that they were amazing fighters because I mean they saw any more action they saw more action than any other American infantry regiment in the game and they or not in the game in the war and they fought excellent excellently throughout the whole war so now here we are gonna go talk about the guns that they have in game okay guys so the Hellfighter weapons are two ranged weapons and then a melee weapon the first weapon is a primary weapon called the Hellfighter Trench Shotgun, and this shotgun is um, really not that good compared to stuff like the Model and stuff like that. I mean, it is good, like the Model 10A is way better, but the Model 10A is OP. The Hellfighter Trench Shotgun is still very viable. It's full auto, which means you can hold down the trigger and it'll fire shot after shot after shot, which can be really good when fighting large amounts of enemies just because you can spray down large amounts of enemies and especially in the trenches now this is called a hellfighter trench shotgun for a reason I mean obviously it's named after the hellfighters but it is a trench shotgun that just destroys people I mean it I mean it's definitely meant for the trenches just because of how effective it can be when you just hold down the trigger you can clear out trench after trench it's used for super close range combat like it definitely doesn't have the range of some of the other shotguns but it is super devastating at close range it's got five shots in your mag it's got a super fast fire rate now it has less damage than your traditional shotgun like i said so you will have to put more shots into people but then again it is full auto which is really good so now it also has a unique appearance it's got 369 infantry carved into it it's got stuff about france and then the secondary weapon that belongs to the Hellfighters is the Hellfighter M1911. So now the M1911 is an amazing gun within uh, Battlefield 1. It is a starting pistol, I mean it, you can use it in every class, it's really effective, 8 rounds in a mag, decent fire rate, decent damage, just decent all around sidearm. And really what the, uh, what it does, or what the, what's different about the Hellfighter M1911 it is the appearance is just different basically it's kind of got a goldish bronzish kind of skin on it it's got 369th carved into it it says men of bronze I mean the appearance is just amazing and then the melee weapon is the Hellfighter bolo knife and it's really just like any of your other classic melee weapons except it's just this cool looking machete kind of thing so yeah those are the weapons in battlefield one that belong to the Hellfighters let's get back to the history so guys, those are the guns that they have in-game, and when you talk about the Harlem Hellfighters, you have to talk about Henry Johnson. Henry Johnson was a Hellfighter, and he and a French private are out in no man's land, and this is kind of a war story, and they're manning, manning a listening post. 
they hear a click, 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 and they think it's somebody cutting barbed wire to try to get to the French encampment. And they thought it could be a German raid. They then see Germans and engage in combat. Henry Johnson's ally is injured, so he has to fend off the attack all by himself. And this is the Hellfighter, by the way, and his French ally is wounded. He accidentally makes the mistake of, of putting a French cartridge into his American rifle, and this causes his American rifle to jam. And in a second, the Germans were on top of his position, and he used his rifle as a club and eventually switched to his knife and started fighting with that. And this is the Hellfighter Bolo knife in-game. He used a similar knife to this, and he fights them off in the pitch black night until they finally retreat. The next morning, people realize what he had done. There were four dead German bodies and many tracks. People estimated that the German force cause it could have been up to 30 soldiers that he fought off, and he killed four. The French rewarded him with a medal for saving his ally's life, but the U.S. didn't acknowledge his achievement and bravery just because he was African American, which is just really sad to see the U.S. treating African Americans so badly throughout history. And he wasn't recognized of this achievement by the U.S. until 75 years later. And if he was white, he would have walked out of the war with the Medal of Honor straight away. And he didn't get a Purple Heart or recognition for his heroic deeds, even though he was injured. And he can't work because his because of his injury and he didn't get any support from the government and he died penniless which is just a really sad story but he did save the Germans or he did save the French from a German raid and you know all the Hellfighters were really just great soldiers who fought for the US and they were traded to the French so they still fought in the Allied powers but the, the US didn't want them even though they really were some of the greatest soldiers of World War One and uh, the U.S. told the French not to treat them as equals, so they didn't come back to the U.S. thinking that they were equals, which is all just really sad to hear. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making this video, teaching you guys a little bit of history about the Harlem Hellfighters. I definitely enjoyed learning up on this because I was wondering what really they had to do with the war because, you know, it's a pretty cool topic to talk about World War One. A lot of people don't know a lot about World War One as they do about like stuff like World War Two. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more Call of Duty, Destiny, Battlefield, and Overwatch content. This has been Digirex. Peace. And I'm open to mind, so we all need some time just to settle down. Won't you come around? Cause I never can leave it alone. Talking about somebody rolling Boulevard down and making it count for efforts I can't explain. Balling and feeling we drown and never been humble by playing the father.